close friends of Tupac Shakur have revealed a shocking new truth about his death. Welcome to Inform Overload, I'm your host Johnny Rogers and if you're new to the channel we find the most interesting news stories on the internet and we make them more entertaining, all for you. Recently close friends of Tupac have come out to say that his murder isn't an open and shut case. When news broke of Tupac being shot in a drive by shooting on September 7th 1996, a murder suspect was never confirmed, thus sparking controversy as to whether or not the rapper was still alive. That controversy though was reignited yet again when rapper Too Short addressed the claim that Knight had set up his killing. Too Short whose real name is Todd Anthony Shaw says that there's no way that could have happened because he personally doesn't believe that Tupac is dead. His rationale behind this is that deaths have been faked before and points out that mysterious car crashes killing politicians were used to cover them up being murdered. So. He thinks it's possible. Too Short isn't the first to make claims that he believes Tupac is still out there somewhere and that a body double was created in his place. Even a member of Tupac's security team had said that he apparently played a part in faking his murder. He said, and I quote, I've got video evidence of the guy who was Tupac's body double I took to Cuba. There's been rumors there were many body doubles. I can confirm I know one body double. I can prove it. He believes he must be somewhere smoking a Cuban cigar on an island because no one was arrested for his murder even after people came out saying that they were the ones who killed Tupac. It really is a continuing controversy because so many people have said they were involved in the faking. People have also said that they've spotted Tupac and he's even released five albums after his death. With the last one coming out called Pox Life which was released in November of 2006, a full 10 years after his death. But with that I want to turn the question over to you. Do you think these people are faking these claims for attention or is Tupac Shakur out there somewhere smoking a Cuban cigar? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Now let's move on to some of your featured comments from the video titled Parents Troll Kids Addicted to Fortnite by Turning Off TV. Hunter Rosalie says, when the kids retaliate and attack their parents, can't blame them. That's yeah, kind of true. I mean, even I would be hella mad at that. Shout out to the kids who tried their best to keep their cool. Solar Star says, knowing parents, they would do it while you're in the lobby. This is very accurate. Very accurate. AJ Quinn says, this is a shocker because of how violent and crazy they all went. Way too far. If you have that reaction to a video game interruption, you got issues. I think it's just because they get so locked in and invested into playing these games that even breathing becomes an interruption. Still doesn't excuse violence though. Camden Spark says, fire this guy. He's ruining this channel and top 10 nerd. Fire him. Oh no, I'm fired? Hey Charlotte, am I fired? No, you're not. No, I'm not. What do you mean? I thought I thought that if it was said on the internet, that means I'm fired. Isn't that how it works? Camden, please show me the way. Valkyrie Gunzilla says, can we throw the potato at their heads? Do not, do not throw a potato at someone's head. You might hurt the potato. Just toss it into their lap or on a controller or something. Thank you for watching Inform Overload. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want more videos like this one, just click that playlist on the screen. And if you have any hot tips on any new and exciting stories that you want us to cover, find my Instagram in the description below and send me a message. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.